All right, guys, so this is your introduction to Microsoft Excel, and you can kind of see by my little Google search here that we're actually doing something called Excel Pixel Art. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I usually take all this stuff that you guys create, and I decorate Building 5 with it, and it just kind of brightens everybody's day up. Um, so what I want you guys to do, this is going to serve as your introduction to Excel. So the first thing we should probably do is open up Excel. So if you don't have it on your desktop, you can click on your little icon down here, and you can say Excel 2016. When Excel pops up, you're going to say that you want to do a blank workbook. Okay? Um, this is a workbook. <clears throat> a workbook is literally uh, what opens up when you double click on Excel. And a workbook is basically a, um, a book within Excel that has multiple worksheets. Right now, you can only see that I have one worksheet, and I can add more down here. I can add sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. So a workbook <clears throat> is basically. Um, multiple spreadsheets in Excel, all right? And you can have as many uh, sheets as you want within one workbook, okay? So the whole thing is a workbook, and these are your worksheets. All right, <clears throat> and that's uh, two of your key terms right there. We also need to talk about something called columns and rows. So columns in Excel are actually denoted by letters, and I can select entire columns by clicking on the actual letter. I can select entire rows, by clicking on the row number. So rows in Excel go by numbers, columns go by letters. I can also just kind of click and drag to select multiple columns or click and drag to select multiple rows. Um, notice how when I hover my mouse in between the column letters it turns to um, a sideways facing arrow and I can kind of widen it if I want to. I can shrink it if I want to. And that's basically where we're going to start. We're going to shrink down the cells all of these things in the middle of your workbook, these are called cells, all right? And we're basically going to shrink them down to tiny little squares so that we can color them and we can create what's called pixel art, okay? So in order to do that, I want you guys to click in the um, upper left-hand corner right here and select the entire workbook. Um, what you're going to do is right-click on the column letter and you're going to say column width. And you're going to set your column width, I think, to 1. You're going to right-click on your row number and you're gonna say row height and you're gonna set that to 10 okay so now you can see we have tiny little pixels here that we're basically gonna color with our paint bucket tool alright and this paint bucket tool is really cool um, you know let's say that I wanna come up here and start like making the outline of one of my figures and uh, instead of me coming up to the paint bucket every time to paint a group of cells um, I can actually just press F4 on my keyboard and F4 will repeat the last action that I did um, in Excel. So if the last action I did was use the paint bucket tool, it will basically repeat the paint bucket tool for that particular color. Now let's just say that I make a selection and I actually come up here and I say no fill. Notice now when I select a cell and I press F4, look what happens. Okay, Because F4 is not a shortcut for the paint bucket tool. F4 is a shortcut to repeat the last action that you did in Excel. So if the last action was to do a no fill, when you press F4, it's going to do a no fill. If the last action was the paint bucket, it's going to do the paint bucket. All right. So F4 on your keyboard, in the top row of your keyboard, you'll see F4. Uh, make sure you use that. All right. Um, so now that we've shrunk down our cells, <coughs> we kind of need to pick the pixel art that we're actually going to work with. And pixel art, um, what you need to do is basically pick enough pixel art to where it adds up to six points. And I broke them apart into like easy pixel art, medium pixel art, and difficult or hard pixel art. Okay? So you guys will see that like Mario and Luigi, they're worth like one point a piece. So if I were to choose this picture to recreate, and I can, I would actually have to do six of them. Because I need to make at least six points worth of pixel art in order to get an A on this project. All right, if I picked whatever this thing is, the Pop-Tart cat, it looks like a Pop-Tart, I don't know. Um, that's worth one point as well. So I would have to create, I would have to recreate this one and the Mario one and maybe some of, some of these other easy ones that are only worth one point. All right, um, so let's look at the medium ones. Medium difficulty would be like Stewie from Family Guy. Um, these are worth two points. Um, so if I were to pick a medium piece of pixel art, I would only have to create three of these or recreate three of them. In order to create, in order to achieve those six points, again, uh, the Angry Birds pig—that one's a medium one. That one's worth two points. 
Um, and I know this one looks difficult, but honestly, it's really not. You can probably recreate this in a couple of minutes. Um, and this is a medium one. This is worth two points uh, a piece. So if I were to pick Pikachu and let's say the Angry Bird Pig, I would be at four points. I would need to pick another piece of medium pixel art in order to achieve that six points. Or I could pick two pieces of easy pixel art. Okay? Let me pause this. All right. Um, and then difficult pieces of pixel art are a little more involved, obviously, and they're worth more points. Um, this would be another medium piece of pixel art. Actually, this would probably be a difficult piece of pixel art. I could probably put that in difficult. All right. But difficult pieces are worth four points a piece. Okay? So I would only need to really create one of these and maybe pick a medium one in order to achieve my total of six points. Okay? And I would say these are actually pretty difficult to recreate. Um, you know, uh, Venusaur is uh, probably one of the more difficult ones, I would say, just because of the shading of it all. Oh my god. Ugh, it's almost impossible to record a video without getting interrupted every freaking five minutes. All right, and again, something like this, probably pretty difficult. That's worth four points, so you only need to create like one of these and then maybe one of the medium pieces. But either way, you guys need to create enough pixel art to where it adds up to six points. This will be in your Edmodo account as kind of a guide. Um, you do not have to specifically pick these pieces. Um, you can literally do a Google search for Excel pixel art and you can kind of comb through here and you can kind of use your own judgment like this would be a difficult piece this would be a difficult piece to do you know things like these mushrooms right here the Mario mushrooms these are easy you know this would be super easy um, Slender Man doesn't even count it's not even worth any points don't even try it um, you know like the little mushroom easy piece uh, Spongebob probably um, I would say this is a medium piece definitely it's pretty difficult to do um, and then I would say Blastoise might be a hard piece just because of all the shading that's involved in it. Um, so use your best judgment here, but either way, let's just say I settle in on doing SpongeBob as a medium piece. I'm going to copy that image. I'm going to right click and copy. I'm going to go to my Excel page and I'm going to paste it right in here so that I don't have to flip back and forth between Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or whatever it is you're using. I can just literally grab this and try to recreate it. So if you look, I can basically count the cells here. Um, count the cells across and try to recreate that. So let's just say that there's, you know, 20 cells across. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, let's say that's 20. I'm going to go ahead and come up here and color it with yellow. And I, basically, the best advice I can give you to recreate it is to take the outside edge first or the border around your person and try to get the border done and then fill in the colors. All right, so if that's my top border right there, then I'm going to go ahead and create this part down here. And again, I'm going to use my F4 key on my keyboard. Oh, God. So many meetings, so many announcements. All right. Um, so again, I'm just trying to recreate the frame of it. And then, you know, once you get into the inside part of it, you can literally just count the squares and try to recreate it. Um, Let's just say that I'm ready, you know, this would be worth four points. This is a medium one. So I'm ready to do my two point one um, to make it six points. I'm going to go ahead and go to sheet two and I'm going to paste my second piece of pixel art in sheet two. All right. So I'm going to go back here and let's say, you know, I don't need a medium one. I just need one that's actually worth two points. Um, let's see. Oh, no, I need this. is This is a medium one. I need this is a two pointer. So I'm going to need probably a need another medium one, or I can pick a difficult one, um, like Ivysaur um, would be a difficult one, I would say, um, or Venusaur would be a difficult one. And if I want to do Venusaur, I'm going to go ahead and right click and copy, and I'm going to paste him right into sheet two. And again, for sheet two, you're going to need to switch your rows and columns. Go ahead and shrink them down by right clicking on them and saying column width one, row height should be 10 okay so you should have at least six points worth of pixel art um, when you are done with this assignment and that's how you score an A on this um, it's basically just coloring guys so have fun with it first of all um, but there is an assignment here and there is some vocab associated with it so make sure you know that columns are denoted by letters in Excel and rows are denoted by numbers make sure you know that a workbook in Excel is basically um, everything 
and it consists of many different worksheets. And you can have as many worksheets in one workbook as you want. All right. Um, let's also say that we are going to discuss our cursors. Look at my cursor right now. Um, our cursor is a uh, kind of a chubby black cross or chubby white cross. Um, when I select down, I can basically fill with it. I can select cells with it, and that's about it. The white cross doesn't do much except for select cells. However, when I do select a group of cells and I hover my white cross off to the edge, notice how it turns to a four-pronged arrow. Um, that means that I can now take that and move it somewhere else. Okay? I can also make huge selections of areas and move the entire selection all together. Okay? So the um, white cross is your selection cross. When you hover off to the side and you get your four-pronged arrow, that's your move cross. Check this out. When I hover off into the corner of one of the cells I have selected, notice how my cross turns to a skinny black cross. I can now go ahead and grab that and fill. It's basically like a copy uh, tool. Um, it's called a fill cross. And as you grab the corner and fill down or fill up or fill below, um, it's basically copying the cells and filling them without you actually having to go to that F4 key. Okay, So you have the, um, the white cross that allows you to select. You have the black cross that if you hover off into the corner of it, it turns to a four-pronged arrow, and then you can move your particular selection of cells. Or you have the skinny black cross that you can use to actually copy cells. And that should speed up the creation of some of your pixel art. All right. Um, so again, guys, have fun with it. Use that F4 key. That is your shortcut to repeat, repeat the last action you did. And try to make this look good. All right.